Oh. <laughs> hey guys! And today we're going to be doing a Christmas Q&A. So this is going to include questions that you've asked us either on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. <laughs> question is from Jake Martin <laughs> she knows him if you could eat one of Santa's reindeer <laughs> oh, um, yeah, the question's <laughs> which one would it be <laughs> I didn't realize it's so bad, don't you realize uh, that? eat or eat any want? of them if I had to eat one reindeer I eat one reindeer <laughs> <laughs> it would be Prancer Oh, I can't kill Prancer. Or I could say anything and you would say that. Okay, you so see you're killing Prancer, I'm gonna kill Donna. Oh, Donna Kebab. Question. Next question, please. <laughs> horrible question. Okay, Julius says... This is not a horrible question. What was your routine on Christmas Day when you were children? Okay, so we would get... Question. So we would get up really early and every year the time always changed. In fact, I was reading our um, childhood diary the other day and it said that we got up at like 2 a.m. I actually remember time. that one. Yeah, and then mum like came down and said, Look, you're up too early, go back to bed. <laughs> I swear I went bed though at like six, seven the night before, yeah. hoping that Christmas Day would come quicker. And then it got, we were up when it was 2 a.m. And Claire yeah. was like, Should we go down? No, no, I was like, Should we go down? And you were like, Yeah, yeah, let's go down. <laughs> and we went down, and I was like, is that, the, is that the day when we took all the presents out of the sack and piled them up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. On Christmas Eve, we watch Christmas films, so usually Home Alone and Santa Claus. And then in the afternoon, Evening. Evening. We bring the sacks down with the books and then we pick through three out of the four books I think we've got now. We There's always three. a fourth one that we never read. <laughs> no, we never read. Okay. Okay, yeah, we have three books. And what are those three Dad's books got, then? I think Dad's got a fourth one. Well, maybe he has got a fourth one, but what are the three books? Um, the three books are... In order of how we read them. The Nativity. Correct. Santa Claus. Or no, Father Christmas's Big Night. Yeah. And... The Polar Express. Yeah. We had the book way before the film, like, like literally when we were kids. Like little yeah. when we were fetus when they had the books. <laughs> this small, this tiny. And then when it came out, when it came out in the cinema. We were so excited. I was like, oh my like, gosh. But it's more based on the musical than it is yeah. the actual one. Because in the mus like the book is so much shorter. Like the train journey in, in the book is so much shorter. There's it? no going on the roof of the train for yeah. a start. Well, when I watched it in the film, I was like, and there's no like him trying to escape as well. Or, like, do you remember? Yeah. Like he tries to. Like yeah. he loses his ticket, but he doesn't lose it that far. Our dad reading it is like literally the most exciting Love thing that. ever because yeah. it's just a tradition that we've done for years. And then we go to bed. Get we get up early. And then we wake up our parents like half an hour after that. I like the idea of getting up at 6.30 because you have half an hour to wake yourself up. And so by the time yeah. your parents get down, you can... I, I'm for more awake and more excited and able to read what's on my present. Yeah, but then your parents come down grouchy and then it's just like... like Mum's always like, I'm gold! And then like, if you're <laughs> like really it. hyper and we're like, let's start, let's start. Like, Hold on a minute! Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> We're really woken up, just get with the time. You know when we're parents, <laughs> we're going to be like, come on kids, wake up! And they're going to be like, no. It's going to be the opposite way around, we're yeah. going to be like the hyper ones. <laughs> when everyone's down and ready with their sacks, they're all smiling and looking at each other like, who's going to open the first present? It's normally the youngest, so it's this one. Yeah. So she opens the first present, she. Gosh, that's going to be so weird when I'm like, <laughs> No, it's kind of like, the starts. <laughs> Because it's gonna, oh, that's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna, gonna start gonna... about here. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of go round, mm -hmm. so it lasts longer. It normally lasts around about an hour to uh, two hours. Yeah. After all those presents, we have a family sack of presents, which basically are to either two or more people. So you'll have a present that will say, Dear Claire and Katie, or you'll have a present that says, Dear the Johnson family, or whatever. Oh. So once that's all done, <laughs> Mum goes out, goes out and starts cooking the dinner. And then we have Christmas dinner, and then we watch like the typical Christmas mm. programs that are on, so yeah. Doctor Who, um, oh, yeah, the we Queen's all, Speech. We all sit down for that. Okay, so that was by Nancy. I can't even remember if I said that. Okay, this is by phone. Mick Goodwin, who says, do you both have any elves to help you with your Christmas present packing? 
And the truth is, we have one elf. <laughs> Katie and Dad are like the best rappers. <laughs> we have one elf. <laughs> Katie and Dad are like the best rappers in the house, but Katie's classed as a little elf because I guess Dad would be classed as Santa Claus. Yeah, Katie wraps most of the presents. Even Christopher comes in and is just like, okay, it's been wrong presents. Wrong. Our cousin, Adam Johnson, says, Is Chris going to be in another video? And the answer is yes. Yes. We are going to do a sibling tag slash question. We're doing a sibling tag, tag slash sibling question. It'll have a proper name, we just yeah. can't remember it right now. Um, okay, our next question is from Anna. What is your favourite Christmas movie? Oh, that's so hard. That is cool. I'm going to say the Santa Claus. Just because I have to, I still haven't watched it. I'm gonna season. say, I'm gonna say Home Alone because the reason I like it is because it's something that me, my sister, and Chris can all watch together. Like, he won't that. watch any of the Christmas movies with us, but he'll watch that, and I just think that's that just brings us all together yeah. at Christmas. So yeah, I'm gonna say Home Alone. But the Santa Claus, I think I'm gonna say that one because I just like the idea of a new Santa and seeing how. The, the other Santa had to become Santa kind of thing. Mm, I mean, yeah. had to become, but seeing him grow into yeah. being Santa Claus and taking the role of um, being a father as well mm. as being Santa Claus. And it's all, wouldn't it be pretty cool to have your own dad as Santa Claus and a reindeer and then go see little elves all the time and hot chocolate. Who wants, oh, I would love to take taste. How many years did it take hot us to make that? Hot Next question is from Andrew. In the Slades, it's Xmas song. They ask, oh. what would your daddy do if he saw mummy kissing Santa? So, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> That's a good question. I'd freak out. I'd be like, what are you doing, saw... <laughs> <laughs> You have a husband, why are you kissing Santa? I saw my mum kissing Santa Claus. That's how old Santa Claus is. <laughs> Well, oh, we're talking the old. Santa Claus. No, because the Santa Claus grows a white beard doesn't mean he's old. If, you, if you're if you on about that version. But if you're on about the Alpha Christmas Santa Claus, True. he's quite old. He's like a dad. Um, if I saw Mum kissing Santa Claus, first thing I'd do is run upstairs and find Dad. Dad's not there. Then I'd assume that Santa is Dad. Yeah, but well, it could be! Yeah. The Santa Claus is a kid's dad! Yeah. Okay, yeah, true, yeah. I'd just be like, okay, my dad's Santa. <laughs> or... If your sister was kissing Santa, <laughs> that's really you. Fun. If I was Santa. kissing Santa, <laughs> I'd be ringing up the police. <laughs> I'd find the police about excuse me, someone assaulting my sister. He's <laughs> wearing, wearing, wearing a red suit. He's wearing a red suit. Oh my god! He's in my house <laughs> with, like with a red sack. Please help. Like, like in the Santa Claus, where the police are like chasing the random guys and they're chasing. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Yeah, I'd do the same okay, I'd like pull you apart, like, hey, you have my sister! <laughs> also, top five Xmas films and songs. Okay, well, since we've done... Okay. Well, we can do top five. Yeah, okay, top five. So, so yeah, top Santa five. Claus, Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2. <laughs> um, oh, wait, what is it called? Uh, Miracle on 34th Street and... Love Actually. Mine are the snowman. This is not in any order, by the way. Yeah, the snowman, Arthur Christmas, um, Santa Claus, Home Alone. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was my other one? What did I say? What have I already said? Snowman. Oh yeah, and the holiday. What was your favourite present from Santa when you were small? Okay, the best one that I can remember, and was probably one of the best Christmas presents I got was Sky Base from Captain Scarlet. Oh my gosh, yeah, I remember that. It was epic. I think it's, it was so, like, realistic. Like, there's not a many presents, not many toys that they make that look exactly like they're doing the program. But this did. It was, oh, it was so good. I first had my Barbie dolls. So I had one Barbie doll for my birthday, beginning of that year. And then I got, I didn't have any of the clothes for it. So it was always in this one dress. And then that Christmas, the end of the year there was this big massive wide box it must have been about this long that tallish that long, and it had like 10 different outfits in it oh, do you not remember, no, that? I don't remember funny enough one of them looked a bit like Elsa's dress <laughs> not not the not the 
the ice blue one, the mm, green the one. one. Oh, the green one. The green one. So the black sleeves blue. Mm. So yeah, I had a box like that. I can just remember opening it. I was like, oh, thank you, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any Christmas traditions? Okay, yeah. The only thing I think we haven't mentioned is we put our Christmas decorations up. Either on the thirty first of November or, or the, the first, first Monday. Monday. Um, other traditions. Oh, I know one. Oh yeah, yeah. So our mum says that she's not very good at cooking and uh, baking cakes. Baking cakes. However, however, this is the her crowning jewel. Like this is one of the things that she can make absolutely, and I mean spot on perfect. It's a shame that none like, of the kids like it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like fruit cake, but, but I, love I love looking at I love it. The look, I love the look of it. I love the icing. The icing is nice. Yeah. And um, I always love that the fact that she puts a snowman on top of yeah. it. But she makes the most gorgeous mm. looking and tasting because my dad look my dad loves fruit cakes and he says it's really nice and yeah. yeah. And my granddad loves mom, it as mom well. always makes him one like makes two and gives one to him so he's got one. one whole cake for himself. So we can hold this up because I'm shipping it. Smells so good. It smells oh, so gosh, it's heavy. I mean, I don't like it, but it smells so Christmas. -y. Look at that cake. And that's it because because fruit cakes last for literally year, years, years, <laughs> months. It can. It can last for years. Yeah. Um, this can last. Sometimes it's still there by, by the end of next, like Halloween <laughs> end yeah. of next year. So that's what's really good about this cake. And it it just, does, it smells Christmassy, but it's like if you smell it too much, it like goes in your nose and it's like, ow. Oh, it's delicious. delicious. What's your favourite Christmas food? Christmas dinner. Mm, no, like one individual food. Oh, <laughs> red sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Our Christmas dinner is so special because mum just literally just piles everything on it. Yeah. Like It's not puts, like pick and choose, it's like no. mum just puts it on there. She puts so much work into it and it's I so eat every good. single bit of it because it's just so delicious. I know, and you want more. I don't uh, know why. I know. I always feel like I'm not I'm still full. not full. I want mm. more. Just make me more. So my yeah. favourite was a recent discovery a couple of years ago. Pigs in blankets. Pigs in blankets. I knew she was gonna say that. Absolutely love them to oh, bits. Heaven. But I think a favourite of mine, though we had this all year, is my is my mum's roast potatoes. Like mm. they are heaven. Opinions on cheesy jumpers as well. <laughs> but I went into Primark like two, three weeks ago, I saw this on the floor and then it went out of stock and then it, as soon as it came back in stock I saw it and I was like, I'm getting it. It is just, just amazing. Like, yeah. look at the Christmas trees! And the snowflakes and the, and the stockings. Like, it yeah. includes everything. It's just got everything. And um, yeah. I think the funny thing is, because um, well. I'm just a temporary um, Christmas job um, employee at Primark, is the fact that I wore this um, to our Christmas jumper day at work and my um, floor manager and the manager of the entire shop saw me in this jumper. She's like, where did you get that from? And I was like, it's from Primark, it's from our store. It's downstairs. She was like, oh my gosh, that puts my Christmas tree jumper to shame. And I was like, she's like, it literally has everything. And then today I go into work and both of my managers were wearing this, this cardigan. And I was like, see you wearing my jumper? And she was like, I oh know, doesn't it look cute? And we were just all matching and I just thought it was really pretty awesome that I inspired someone to get this cardigan jumper. But yeah, I I just I love it. And then yeah, Claire's is just Yeah, mine was just like I've always wanted one that lights up. But of course the only problem with getting them is that they that you can't, can't wash them. Exactly wash them. It literally has everything that I, I love about Christmas because I'm a huge fan bells. of bells and it has bells and it has Rudolph, Rudolph on it, and it's got Santa on it, and then it's got like That's houses. me in that house there, <laughs> waving with, with my torch. I'm here! And it lights up and everything, and this is so cool. It um, looks like he is. Yeah, he is. It, it, it yeah. does. I think Zoella said in her video, because I think she has my a, present there. <laughs> I think she has the same one. And she just said, it, it looks like Santa's, I mean, Christmas has just vomited on my jumper, and it does. And it's nice that it even has like some trees down there. I know, yeah. It's cute. It's cute. Like it. And then I have another one, which is a snowman one. I think I wore it in one of my videos. Yeah, I wore it in my last favourites video. Um, and I just love that one because, again, like it sums up my Christmas. Can like, you believe it's going to be Christmas? I know, it's crazy! <laughs> like last year, I feel like it's thinking, today. What are you on about? Yeah, it's today. On oh, that feeling last night was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. those things we spoke about. Oh, that Dad's reading that Polar oh, Express. No. It was the best I've ever done it. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
We're gonna leave it here and go watch Elf. Watch an Elf? Yes, watch an Elf. Because I'm like, watching Elf. <laughs> I wanna go to bed. <laughs> We're gonna make some hot chocolate. No, yeah, I'm gonna And sugar rush. Why is it for breakfast? I don't want hot chocolate. Stop It's Christmas! Oh, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> we hope that you had the merriest of all Christmases. I'm just saying that. And I hope, Katie, you liked your Christmas present because I'm still worried that you don't. <laughs> but, and Christopher, I hope you liked your present. Oh, and I hope, Claire, I hope you like my present. It's like this big! Oh, yeah, just so you know, because I thought I should add this in the video. Today, I got my. I had a blood. Yeah, I keep touching your arm. Sorry. Keep to knocking your arm. So I hope you have the merriest of all Christmases and I hope you get everything that you wanted. And we love you so much, you guys that watch us continually. We're so thankful for you, for your viewership, your friendship, and all of that. Can you believe our YouTube channel is like in two months' time or three months' time? I think it's three months. I hope. Nina celebrates his birthday, yeah. We love you and keep watching our videos. I hope and share it and please. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you're not already, subscribe. Can't do it with Subscribe. Subscribe. And comment below and let us know any video ideas that you want us to do. And yeah, we will see you guys next video. Bye! Oh, that wasn't turning the sound up. That was playing it. Got <laughs> <laughs> it did that. Um, so that's going to. So that's going to include. You have to the camera. So that's. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, that's like, a, that's like a repetitive blooper. Um, um, how many times does this play go? Um, <laughs> Dancer, Dasher, Donna, Cupid, Blitzen, no, Comet, Cupid, Cupid, Vixen, I think I've said Donna, Cupid. Blitzen. You already said Blitzen. No, I said Vixen. Oh. And then Donna. I think you already <laughs> said Donna. <laughs> Dasher, no, Prancer, Dasher, Dancer, Comet, Cupid, Vixen, Blitzen, Donna. That's <laughs> <laughs> favorite. I said Donna. Dasher, Dancer, <laughs> Prancer, Dasher, Dancer. Prancer, Dancer, Dasher, Comet, Cupid, Blitzen, Vixen, and Donna, and Randolph. Oh my goodness. Let me get it. Nice butt shot there. It's this baby. Can I just say, can you believe it's Christmas? Like today, it's Christmas. It's Christmas it's, day. I know, it's crazy. It's like, insane. Like, how, how fast have you? have opened a present. Oh my goodness, your present. <laughs> you don't have to say that, you don't